Okay, let's look at another another thing here. This is one this is one thing we've been talking about on the Bitcoin journey for quite a while now. Quite a while, and it seems to be very accurate what we've been saying. So this is from Bitcoin News. It says Ethereum Bitcoin breaks below the 0 0.04 floor, down 36% in the last year. So all this hype about the Ethereum ETF. Ethereum's going to explode. Ethereum's going to go up. Hold on to the Ethereum until the ETF. Well, what we're seeing there, that's not the case. And I've been advising people. I never want to tell people what to do. But I've been telling people on the show now for a long time to get rid of your Ethereum. Just get rid of it. Don't, don't wait for the price to go up. I, I feel like there's a lot of people, and maybe there's less now than there was before, but I feel like there's a lot of people who own Ethereum just because they bought it back a couple years ago and they've been holding on to it because they want to get back to what they paid for it. So let's say they bought some Ethereum at 4,000 bucks. That's kind of like their cost base now or 3,000 bucks, whatever it is. And so they're waiting for it to get up to that point again before they sell it. They think that that's kind of the, the measuring stick. You want to break even, then they can sell it for Bitcoin or whatever that is. But all you're doing is you're letting Bitcoin get further and further ahead. So if you are planning to swap that for Bitcoin, the only thing that's going to happen there is you're going to get much less sats for your Ethereum. It doesn't matter about the fiat price because Bitcoin's been going like this and all the altcoins have been going the opposite direction. So this is what I would say to anybody out there who has Ethereum as the number one, but as like altcoins in general. I, I just feel like there's a lot of people holding altcoins who are waiting for the fiat price to go up again. So what I would say to that is if you are somebody who is holding on to your, I'm just going to use Ethereum as the example here. But if you're holding on to your Ethereum to swap it for Bitcoin, do not wait any longer. That chart's just going to keep going down and down and down because Ethereum has nothing there. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's just a big, it's probably more of a Ponzi than the fiat dollar, but it's just going to keep going down and down because there's nothing there. They don't really do anything anymore. They were the the mother asshole of all shit coins, I think, for a while. But that's not even the case anymore. There's Solana, which I think is a, a better option for the people who like to do that kind of stuff. So trade your Ethereum now. Get as many sats for that Ethereum as you can. If you're somebody who's waiting for just to sell it in terms of like paying off debt or you need a new vehicle and you're, you've kind of been waiting to sell your Ethereum or any altcoins to cash out and buy something else with it. What I would say to that is trade it for Bitcoin now. Trade it for Bitcoin, don't wait and hold on to that Bitcoin for a while and then sell that if you want to. If that's if that's your plan is you want to you have a certain amount set aside for a purchase or paying down debt, flip it into Bitcoin now, hold on to it for the next 6 months and then cash out for fiat to buy whatever you need to do. There's no reason, there's zero reasons right now to be holding Ethereum or any other altcoin. You should either be converting it to Bitcoin for long term or converting it to Bitcoin to sell in the next six months. But there's no reason to be holding Ethereum or any other altcoins right now because Bitcoin's going to go much higher than they are. We know that, right? So it's not my opinion on things. Just look at this chart. 36 percent down in the last year. So even though the price probably wouldn't say that in terms of its fiat price, but in terms of compared to Bitcoin, you're and it's not going it's not turning around there either. That's what you have to keep in mind here. Is that it's at 36% down and it's not turning around. And this is what we have to look forward to here. Let me see if I can bring that up. Yes, okay. This is what we have to look forward to over these next six months. So this is historically Q4. This is also from Bitcoin News. It says, brace yourselves. Q4 is coming. So you can see here, Q3 historically has been the worst performing. Is there a cumulative? Yeah, the worst. So the average 
We'll just stick to the averages because I think that that's most relevant here. And I like that they started 2013. Um, although they probably could have cut that one out just to make things a little bit more reasonable here. But the average here for Q1 is 56% return up. Q2, 26% up. Q3, 5% up. And Q4, 88% up. Great number, by the way. Almost 88.88. But it's 88.84% uh, in Q4. So that has historically been when the price moves. Q2, Q3, everybody falls asleep for six months, especially after the halving. This is what has happened every single time so far, is that you see either a slight drop in Q3 or just a small rise and then a big jump in Q4. So that's what we got coming here in Q4. That's This is what you need to be paying attention to, not month to month, week to week, day to day especially. But like Q4 here, average return of 88%. So what would that be if, if we follow the average again? I think it's going to be a lot higher than that this, this time around. But if we follow the average, that's pretty much double 120K in Q4. I think a lot of people would be happy with that. Not me. I mean, I'd be happy with it, but I still wouldn't sell any of my Bitcoin at that time. Uh, what else do we have here? So if you need something to, you know, feel good about yourself for a little while, I know the price has just been absolutely flatlined for the last, what, six months? But this is this is what we've been saying the whole time. This is what it's done in the past. And there's absolutely no reason why it won't do that in Q4 this year. We got the biggest money in the world in the space now. That wasn't available last time. So I think you can, I think you can do the math here on what's going to happen here, what we can expect. 